Hey guys, welcome back. We are now on part 13 of our Disco Enterprise Refit build, so let's get to work and finish this thing up. I now have our neck completed. The body color has been repainted. We have our blue up there, and I did repaint that little black vent there. Everything is ready for installation, so let's get this thing on the ship. We now have our neck installed, and it is being held in place by a rubber band. You can see the paint cans are just there to make sure nothing falls over. So once this is dry, we'll be ready to install that saucer. And then this happened. I got on a little bit of a roll. So we have our neck, we have our deflector, and our base. I glued in the deflector with super glue, but for the neck, I used two-part epoxy. We're just waiting for that to completely dry before we move on. I'm filling in all of our saucer windows with some canopy glue. Normally, canopy glue is fairly transparent, but the window holes are so small, it should provide enough transparency so that you don't get the flickering effect from the LEDs or you don't see any of our wires. I usually let this glue dry for a few minutes and then I will wipe it down with a towel. And here I am removing some of that excess adhesive with a damp paper towel. You may accidentally wipe up one of your windows. If that happens, I suggest finishing getting rid of the excess adhesive. You don't want that stuff to dry. It will leave horrible blotches in your paint. And you can always fill that window in later. I'm now installing fiber optics for our fan tail lights. I painted the end that's going in the hull red. And I painted most of the fiber optic with chrome as to not lose any light. Now we put on a little bit of canopy glue and we'll be shoving it in the rest of the way and then removing the excess glue that pops out. I have enough light in the secondary hull where I don't need to attach these fiber optics to anything. They turned out very well using this method. We are now ready to start applying some of our decals, so let's take stock and see what we will be using. First off, we have the kit supplied decals from 1982. I have an assortment of decals that I didn't use on my previous build of this kit, so we'll be using them here, like these AMT Polar Lights repop of the kit. We have our deflector dish, strong back, pylons, neck, and a whole bunch of other ones we can use. I've collected a few decals from assorted sci-fi kits over the years. We'll be incorporating a couple of these into the build. Here's some more kit supplied decals. We have pendants, we have RTS thrusters, we have that decal that goes on the bottom. We'll be using those. I did buy the HDA Model Works version of this decal set, so we have some of those. And these. I did try to use these. Uh, it did not work out because you had to cut them out individually. I just got decals everywhere. We do have the sensor band here, which is great. That's from HDA Model Works. We have the kit supplied registry right there. We have some more HDA Model Works ones for the back of the fantail. We have a bunch of Aztec ones we didn't use from HDA Model Works set. This is basically secondary hull stuff there. We have our pylons here. We have these. These are actually filler decals, which are really cool that he adds these extra ones. Here's some more filler decals. Those are for the nacelles. Really cool that he added those. We have the actual nacelle decals right here. Those go along the back and the sides, all over the place. So we'll be incorporating those as well. I encountered a problem when taking stock of all the decals and their placement. I am missing a rather key one. If you look closely at the sheet, you might be able to tell which one it is. But just in case, we are missing that key decal. The keyest of key decals on the kit. So we'll be having to use the 1982 one. I now have all the decals on the bottom applied. We have our registry here and the Enterprise here, which required a couple of coats of Microsol. The blue decals from the Repop Polar Lights version are slightly transparent. So they were taken on the sheen of the paint, which gives them this really nice electric blue look. 
Same thing with the pendant. It's not quite the red that the decal is. We have our Aztecs on our pylons and lower part of the nacelles, as well as the underside of the hull. It's now time to flip this thing over and get to work on the top. I'm now done decaling the top part of the ship, and I've been going around and touching various decals with some microsol so that they'll sink better into the hull, like this RTS, strong back, little pylon here. I also discovered that I completely forgot about our windows around the BC deck, but those guys right there are now taken care of. I'm now at a point where I am sealing up light leaks, various little light leaks all over the place, taking care of those, and I am about ready to get the last coat of clear onto the ship, and then we'll be done. Just want to show off the Aztecs. They have a rather unique look on this silver paint job. You can't really see them at all in this harsh light. So if we turn it off here, you can start to see them pop. The nacelles, at least the top of the nacelles, are one big Aztec decal on either side. There's also Aztecs on the pylons, on the strong back area. I also cut up some random ones and put them on the back of the hull here on the section we made. And there's some along the spine here. Now you can kind of see them come into view. You just have to move your eyes and camera here around. And then they start to pop. And it gives this really interesting iridescent effect. Very cool. Well, gang, the last coat of clear has dried. And we are officially done with our Discovery Enterprise refit build. A few notes on the decals. I did use the reissue polar lights on the pylons and the strong back and on a couple of sorted ones here and there. They are notorious for shattering like glass. In fact, on my last build, the sensor band ones shattered, which is why I bought the HDA Model Works version. But these did not. They went on silky smooth. I did add a couple of drops of dish soap to the water before I dunked them. That might have had something to do with it. However, I did have a couple of smaller ones shatter on me, so I'm not sure what the mystical formula is for getting this this set, this specific set of decals not to shatter. Not sure. But let's just uh let's turn those lights on so you can finally see what it looks like all lit up. There we go. Really liking the little uh strobe there on top of the bridge. Let's turn some lights off too. Get a clearer view of those lights. Um, I did have some issue with the flasher though. We'll, we'll talk about that for a second. Um, some of my lights are more clear than others. Uh, only on the top side of the hull. The red flasher here and the white flasher are kind of subdued. And the green flasher is rather bright. I'm going to chalk that up to my error. However, that back there, you can see that is lit, but it's supposed to be flashing. The one on the other side, the starboard side, is flashing. I lost that somehow. And every time the flashers go, I get a little dimming on my interior lights. Now, I could just disconnect the flasher and everything would be lit, but I'd lose the animation of the flashing lights, and I'd rather have those flashers and deal with a little bit of dimming on the interior lights whenever they flash. It's not, it's not a deal breaker. I like how it looks. But that is what we're going to call it for this build, you guys. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank all my new subs. I want to thank all my old subs. I'm almost up to 200. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but I'll be putting in some beauty shots of the ship after this segment. So you guys are all awesome. Subs, new subs, old subs, even unsubs. You guys should sub. But anyways, thanks everyone for watching. And until the next build, you guys take care.